Hey, I'm Leia. I'm a second year engineering student at the University of British Columbia. I wasn't really sure that electrical or computer engineering was the place for me. I just kind of took a leap of faith. Um, but after taking courses this year, I realized that it's definitely the place for me. I don't think that I would be happy in any other department. I didn't really know a lot about engineering before I came to university. In fact, when I was applying to universities in grade 12, I didn't really even think that I would end up studying engineering. I thought I would go into business, and I kind of applied to both things here and there and everywhere. Um, and didn't I didn't really have, I think, the intention to go into engineering. And I had just never really seen myself as an engineer. It was really a spur of the moment kind of like, oh, I guess I'll apply to engineering um, decision. And so as a result of that, I, I really had no idea that um, there were so few women in engineering. I mean, thinking back, I, I guess I didn't have a lot of ideas um, about like, women who were engineers. I didn't really see a lot of portrayal of women in STEM in the media. Um, that didn't ever stop me from loving science and math, but I just had never really seen myself as an engineer. So when I decided to come to UBC and study engineering, that was kind of the first time that I really started looking into what engineering was all about. Truthfully, I don't think I really knew what an engineer did. Um, and that's kind of the first time that I, I realized that I might be in like a minority um, a minority because I was a woman and um, both my parents they kind of warned me about it and they were like hey like it might not be easy to be a woman in engineering there's not gonna be a lot of you but I was stubborn as ever um, so I was like oh like it'll be fine like it, it won't matter you don't know me um, I, I didn't think that I would really even notice being um, a minority in the classroom because of my gender I had definitely taken some higher level science and math classes in high school where I was already, you know, being a woman made me less than 50% of the class and it had never bothered me then. Um, but truthfully, being, being a woman in engineering has shaped, in many ways, my entire university experience. Um, and not necessarily for the worse um, or for the better. There's kind of been a mix of experiences. So, um, for example, I've never had such a great uh, support network of, of girls. Um, as I do now in engineering. I've never had as many female friends as I do now, but the few girls that are in my program, and I am in a program with less girls than average, um, have all been really great support systems and, and, and friends to me. It's been really great to always have someone to talk about how badly my midterm went or you know how tired I am or how homesick I am, um, literally anything. Um, so the other girls in my program have been really amazing for that. So I've always been someone who isn't afraid to stand out. Um, I have kind of a loud voice and a big personality, but something that's really changed for me being an, an engineering student versus um, in high school was that in high school I always had the choice to stand out or not. You know, I always could choose to wear a flashy color or to sit in the front of class and participate and, you know, make my opinion heard. I feel like as a, a woman in engineering, I never have the choice to stand out or not. I just stand out. I feel that even if I'm wearing black and white, and even if I sit at the back of the lecture hall, and even if I'm dead quiet the whole time and don't kiss fake, I still feel like I stick out like a sore thumb. And so that has been sometimes very isolating um, and can be a very intimidating feeling. Sometimes like you just don't want to stand out. Um, but I think it's been really important for me to remind myself to shake off the little voice in the back of my head. Um, because in reality, not everyone is looking at me and, and not everyone is noticing that I'm different. I think I was a confident person before I started in engineering and I think I've had to build a lot more confidence in myself and the ability to advocate more, which has honestly been really great. So I'd say if anyone is interested in becoming an engineer and is nervous about being a woman or is even thinking they don't want to pursue engineering because they're a woman, I would say definitely try it first. It can be intimidating, but I think it's really well worth it. And engineering is a really cool discipline. You get to solve new problems every day and you get to build cool stuff and be on the cutting edge of technology. I think you'll find a lot of really like-minded people of both genders. And I think that it's, it's not as scary as it might seem.